Hey everyone, welcome to the Helm V2 to V3 migration plugin webinar. Um, with me today is Remus. Remus, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself? Hi, my name is Remus. I'm senior developer, solution developer at JFrog. A really big supporter for open source. Co-founded Helm, was lucky with that. Author of Core as Essential Bugs. I do love coffee, green tea, halva, and cheesecake. We really start my day from that. Awesome. I love, uh, I love coffee, too. I drink too much of it. Um, so my name is Deep Dada, and I am the product manager for the community centers at JFrog. I manage Go Center and Conan Center. Uh, I also love open source software. I helped launch a FOSS contributor fund um, with Indeed. And some of my favorite activities are hiking, beach trips, Mexican food, and laughter. I love comedy. Cool. So, Remus, um, tell us a little bit more about the migration to version 3. What's, what's changed with Helm 2 to Helm 3? Okay, first, Helm v is G8, and it's no to dark. Ooh. Really big thing. Nice. Of course, I'm not running to there myself in the cluster, so it's for me it's not as big as it, it is. But so it's no to there. So if so, Helm CLI talk directly to Kubernetes API, and wherever you set your RBAC rules for your user, that will be applied. So secure and good. I'm a little happy with that. So with Helm we we got a lot of changes. And some breaking changes, but most important terms are listed here. So release information is stored in the namespace. It means there is no Tiller releases anymore. So you create a namespace, you do Helm install, your application, application gets installed, and all the release information gets stored in the namespace. We could easily just delete a namespace, I think it would be gone. And it's good about storing information in your namespaces is you can have the same release name. It just has to be a different namespace. So there is no help in it, in it command anymore because you don't have to initialize any, because that's mostly what them to install the tiller and create the Helm home folder. But I think now it works automatically when you do something with the Helm command. So, where is the new version of Helm charts? Basically, the two chart of uh, the second version. And the good thing is, as well, Helm v2 charts will continue to work with Helm 3. At no changes at all. Nice. But yes, through uh, main ones, there are a lot of different ones. You basically, if you go to Helm releases, especially for v3, you'll see loads of mentioned here. Those are the different things. There's a blog post on Helm.sh about different, basically a series of blog posts. What about changes abroad? So we can go deep and dive here. Okay, so using Helm to become easier because no tiller, easy to install, easy to use in your CI CD pipelines, just provide your proper user with proper rights and tiller. And Helm, sorry, will know what to do. Sorry, till it there. Nice, nice. So now, if I want to actually, you know, update my Helm version, what what are the steps? Okay, so your steps here is go to basically this this URL, GitHub Helm Helm releases, download the. Where is that? The binary for your platform. And in the meantime, because you want to make keep it to ME3, usually I recommend to rename Helm, download the Helm to Helm 3. So it's easier. So because when you fully migrate it from 2 to 3, you can just dump a V2 Helm and rename it that just to Helm V3 version. Okay. It's just easy to download and click on this on URL, we have it. Put in your path somewhere you can access easily. Nice. And you have in a slide basically there to get the Helmbook, CLI, the plugin as well. Cool. So tell me uh, tell me a little bit more about the plugin. 
Okay, so now we need to convert to the tree. So let's check what kind of Helm 2 releases we have. So we have Helm Taylor run, Helm plus. So afterwards, it will use this HH to save me time. Okay, so we have two installed. So we have default container registry, basically a new thing which I have running here. It's a free, nice J4 container registry just released recently. So we have anybody can come in to use for Docker Helm repositories. So we can convert that first. And afterwards we have MariaDB, three revisions. So we can, because plugin allows to convert all of them, or you can specify how many the last releases you want to convert, because especially if you didn't set the limit, you could have hundreds of releases per application. And for migration, I'm not sure you want to migrate all of them. So usually it's enough about max, max to have 10 of them, so we can, can always go back to a previous version if you need to. Okay, so. So Helm, convert. Helpers, just remind me. Okay, so I use, I'm using Teres Helm, so I need this flag. Afterwards, I need the release name, and let's do try run. Let's be on the safe side. Okay, cool. So it's showing me to convert that. Removing dry run. Cool. So, um, three colors. Oops, nothing. So, remember, I mentioned before that now releases get stored in namespaces per release. So, application has a namespace, and in that namespace, Helm 3 stores the release information as well. So, this is why just doing Helm 3 ls shows nothing, you can specify all name spaces flag, so that will show all the releases, or you have to switch the context to your namespace and do just and help to less will work. Okay, let's convert another one. Right. So we have, what are you doing? Right, now we have three revisions, and plugin allows to specify how many revisions you want to move. So, so we have VIDB, uh, and maybe you just want release, sorry, release version max, maybe you just want the last two only. Okay. Try run first. Okay. So it shows V2, V3. So it skips the first one. Awesome. So we remove it. Try run. Okay. Let's check it out. Cool. Now we have both migrated and Three, then three, and the juice shows exactly the same because we did not clean up anything yet. Oh, cool. So let's do one more thing. Can I switch to maybe namespace? Okay, get pods. Just about to check. Cool. See, we migrated. Nothing was started, was already ordering for 50 minutes, and we migrated release information. We didn't migrate that deployment itself because it doesn't, plugin doesn't touch that because you don't have to. We're just moving to a different place for release information. And if we go back to the, our application, it should be safely working. Nice. Amazing. Cool. So that's basically nice and safe upgrade. 
Now we happy we migrated everything we need. So let's do the cleanup part, mm. which is scary, but so cleanup can do as well a couple of things. So if you do cleanup, I turn. Well, let's let's do that. Cleanup. So what it shows, it will do everything. So we'll run clean up. Oh, sorry, because I am running. Where is that? Tillerus. Because I am in Tillerus one. I need to provide this flag. So see what it does. It will will be the releases. It will clean up my home folder with Helm. So basically, uh, all Helm V2 presence will be gone from my workstation and from the uh, Kubernetes cluster as well. Okay. Or we can specify the different flag, release cleanup, tailor in cluster cleanup if you need to, or configuration cleanup. But be brave enough. So let's do the full cleanup because the most scary part is the cleanup of Helm V2 releases in the cluster because when I just local information, it can be like the repositories, plugins, it can be very easily, easily restored. Cool, so we do cleanup. Yes, we are brave. Cool, now if I do ls, should, there is no such common because there is no Helm 2 presence at all. Except for binary itself, but the rest is gone. Helm, dot Helm folder is gone, so all the releases is gone. So, and Helm tree ls. See, now I didn't type a namespace, but I switched uh, my context to R Python JCR namespace. I see that release there. What? Just really sure. Namespaces. We have everything. Yes. So we now have totally Helm three, Helm two persons ago. Scary. That's good. So. And recommendation as well. It's Helm three GA just only recently last week. This week is just quick week. So we have. You should wait for where. For the next minor release, 3.0.1, but a lot of many tiny fixes will be released in that place because 0.0, .0 versions usually never should be used, at least in production. Pre-production can play with that. It's not a problem. Prepare yourself. Thank you. All right, cool. So uh, thank you for showing us that demo. So as Remus mentioned, you'll want to um, check out Helm version 3.0. Probably only in pre-production. Yeah. Wait till the um, next minor to... release um, yeah. for anything production related. Uh, yeah. So to learn more, you can visit the blog here. And I guess for questions, um, Remus, you recommend yeah. them commenting on the yes. uh, Helm to two to three issues. Yes, that's the best place because that's basically the place. Everybody asks for questions, for help, or something unclear on your features implementing a plugin. That you can ask through those questions in Helm Slack as well, but. Helm repository is easier to do shit because, because Martin or me who, who developed uh, this plugin will, will answer it quickly in questions. There. Awesome. Well, thank you for the uh, for the walkthrough. Really exciting stuff. Um, and uh, I guess that's it. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. Bye-bye.